What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here? What I've got for your face balls today. The time has finally come guys. I am super pumped for this and I just, I couldn't be more excited for Ben, uh, but Jack Wolf knives are here. If you guys have been living under a rock and you haven't heard of Jack Wolf knives, this video right here will give you all the information that you want to know about Jack Wolf knives, all the information about the knives, all the information about when and where you can get them. A lot of it will be up in the description below. Watch this video. We're gonna go through all the colorways and everything about Jack Wolf knives. The first model here is the sharpshooter, Ben Belkin. Uh, he lives in, in Arizona. Couldn't be a better guy. Ben and I, you know, met, I don't know, a little over a year ago and just kind of hit it off right from the, from the start. And we talk uh, fairly regularly and I'm just, I'm super excited for Ben. I know how hard he's worked to get Jack Wolf knives uh, up and off the ground, and this is the first offering. So anyway, without further ado, let's just jump into it here. Jack Wolf knives. There's kind of a storyline that goes along with this. This is on the back of every box. Uh, these, this right here is what the boxes look like. They're this really nice uh, reflective uh, foil printed. They're soft touch uh, black boxes. They look fantastic. They have a barcode on the bottom. You can see this one right here is in green canvas micarta, uh, but they are beautiful and the boxes are fantastic. But let's take a look at this really quick. It says here, Jack Wolf Belkin was my grandfather. He carried a well-used slip joint knife in his pocket every day. As far back as I can remember, I was fascinated with his knives and I couldn't wait to have one just like it. That boyhood fascination grew into this company which I created to honor him and bring you the best knives I am capable of producing. Inside this box, you will find an exceptionally crafted knife made from the finest modern materials. It will serve your everyday needs and provide you the emotional satisfaction gained from experiencing functional art. I am forever grateful for your support. I hope each Jack Wolf knife brings you the same satisfaction and excitement it does for me. Benjamin Belkin, owner-operator, Jack Wolf Knives, and then he's got his signature on the box. Very cool. The boxes are fantastic. I pre-opened this one a little bit just because I don't want to damage and tear the corners, but let's uh, get into this really quick just to see what the unboxing experience is like. So you can see right here, we've got the Jack Wolf logo embossed into the canister. So these are slip joints for those that don't know. So it's kind of traditional from companies like GEC that they come in a cardboard tube. These are a spun aluminum container uh, with embossed lids and the artwork on each container for each model will be specific to that model. You can see here the canisters. These are really cool. And we've got Jack Wolf right here holding a sniper rifle and we have the sharpshooter with the scope reticle. Uh, just really, really cool. Awesome, awesome packaging, love it. When you pull the cap off, this is what you will be presented with. And if anybody grew up in the 90s, you will remember this is a POG. And I don't even remember where these got started. I do remember them from back in the day. I wasn't really big into it but I love the throwback and the nostalgia here. So uh, Ben has included a sharpshooter Jack Wolf Knives Pog. And then this is what will, your can will look like. Let's see if we can just go ahead and pull all this out together. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. There is some foam down at the bottom of the canister. That's, you know, the attention to detail here is fantastic, and it's one of the reasons that uh, Ben has has just worked his butt off getting every single detail, uh, you know, the best that it could possibly be. Right off the bat, we've got a Jack Wolf, a really nice Jack Wolf head uh, sticker, and then we also have a leather slip right here, which we'll talk about that more in a moment. And then we have this really nice microfiber cloth. You know, it's not one of those little chintzy cleaning cloths that come with pretty much every knife out there. This is an actual uh, with, you know, hemmed edges, uh, branded microfiber cloth. And 
here is said knife. This one here is in green canvas micarta. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's set that down for just a moment. Let me get this uh, squared away here. So you can see the size of this. I think these are 12 by 12. I haven't actually measured one. I should probably do that. I don't have a, a measuring stick handy here, but uh, the, the cloths are very, very nice quality. And just everything about this, the quality is fantastic. And so this is your unboxing experience right here, along with the box. And this is what you'll get in the package. Now, if you purchase one from OCD for EDC.com, we have got a couple things that we'll be throwing in with this. Uh, one thing in particular uh, that we don't have yet, hopefully it's going to be here before the 15th. Um, and as soon as those do show up, we will show them off. It's kind of a throwback to the 90s as well, which Molly and I thought were was really interesting So and just kind of fun. As soon as those are in our possession, we will show them off. The supplier says we're going to have them by the 15th, so hopefully that's the case. Anyway, uh, moving forward, I have uh, opened up a couple different knives. So we have green canvas micarta. We also have natural micarta. We have black micarta. I should put that that way. And then we also have dark matter fat carbon blue. So you can see there's just little, little hints of blue in the fat carbon. It's beautiful. There is absolutely no voids at all in this carbon fiber. It's absolutely gorgeous. It turned out fantastic. So those are your four colorways. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, the micarta options are 275. The dark matter blue carbon fiber is 300. The prices will be the same at, at every retailer. But let's uh, take a look at this. We'll just, since we got the canister out for the, uh, the green one, we'll take a look at that one. So what we're looking at here is a uh, you know, a traditional slip joint. Uh, and, you know, it's a, it's a throwback to the slip joint patterns. This is a gun stock pattern. We've got an overall length. Let me see here. I'll just measure it as we go through this. But we have an overall length of basically three and three quarter inches. We have a blade length. of 2.9 inches. We have a blade stock thickness just under an eighth of an inch, uh, so 0.118. And then one of the things that I absolutely adore about slip joints, and you guys know that I'm not a huge slip joint guy, but the, the more time I spend with these, the more excited I get about it. Um, and a lot of it has to do with just the cutting performance because these things are a gorgeous, gorgeous hollow grind. You guys know that I like uh, uh, blade geometry and that's what you're getting right here. This is, by the way, M390 blade steel. You can see it right there. Uh, it does say Jack Wolf on that side and that's it for, for uh, billboarding. You know, it's, it's very subtle right at the base of the blade and they're absolutely fantastic in hand. Thickness behind the edge. This one's coming in about 12 thousandths. That's just absolutely wonderful blade geometry. And then one more relevant uh, measurement here. Let's get an overall thickness at the fattest location. So 0.445. It's a beautifully sized slip joint. You got a really positive half stop. The pull on the way out with this particular model, I'm not using the nail nick. There's enough space where I can just pinch it open, but the pull is not uh, difficult at all. And it's, it's good enough, you know, it doesn't feel, you know, spongy or anything like that. It feels really fantastic. You've got this really great half stop and then you can come all the way open. Uh, so the opening experience for me 
just it feels perfect it was it's just what i would want in a good quality slip joint it's not too tough it's not too light and then when it's open if i push down on the blade i mean i certainly can you know uh, get it off uh axis there but but it comes right back to full open and so I don't think there's any fear of this closing on your hands unless you do something really, really dumb. So the quality here is just spectacular. So I really like the uh, color contrast between the, the bead blasted titanium and the satin finish on the blade as well as the back spring. Across the board, uh, they, every one that I've opened, which I haven't opened all of them, I've only opened you know five or six of them, but the quality and fit and finish has been the same. The micarta looks fantastic. So whichever color uh, you like the best, uh, you're going to be happy. As well as the uh, carbon fiber looks spectacular as well. And I'll show you a close up of that in a moment. You know, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat, the back spring is perfectly flush in all three positions. There's absolutely, uh, you know, you can't you can't feel any offset at all between you know each side of the knife as well as the back spring in the full open position in the half stop position and in the closed position they're absolutely perfect and then the other thing that i noticed is the joint there between the blade and the uh, back spring there's no gap on one side or the other both are ground perfectly perpendicular so the the, the two are parallel with one another um, i'm sure there's a term for that in the slip joint world i just don't know what it is those are little tiny details that I absolutely appreciate. The hardware here, so we have T10 uh, Torx screws for the pivot, and then we have T8 for the cover screws. The hardware is titanium. The knife itself, the scales are titanium with obviously micarta uh, covers. And then I, I'll have to ask uh, Ben what the steel is on the back spring. I don't know off the top, the top of my head. The blade, of course, M390. This is absolutely a modern slip joint model. So we've got a traditional handle pattern. We've got a beautiful clip point blade with a throwback to slip joints ground extremely well, just under an eighth of an inch in blade thickness. And, you know, this one here measured 12 thousandths behind the edge. It's just, it's a cool little knife. They are extremely comfortable in hand. So for me, my uh, middle finger rests right in that uh, valley right there and it's just incredibly comfortable for my wife uh, her ring finger rested right there either way it worked in her hand just as well as it works in mine and we have a you know massive disparity in size between our two hands and this thing is contoured on the scales uh, and it just it just fits into your hand perfect you know there's no pocket clip to deal with so it's incredibly comfortable. The opening experience, like I said, is, is extremely satisfying. The blade centering is absolutely perfect. The manufacturing here is, is really uh, fantastic. I, I, like I said, out of all the ones that I've seen, they've all just been consistent. There's just zero deviation from quality on any of the ones that I've seen. So I expect that every single one will be just like this. And that's fantastic. Now, these are uh, manufactured in China. Ben cannot tell, the, the, you know, the, or I'm sorry, he's not allowed to say the manufacturing company. And I know that sounds kind of strange, but the reason for it is, is that uh, the company already has too much work on their books. Uh, and so they just don't want uh, to have more people hitting them up. Uh, and so, you know, it is what it is. The fact of the matter is, is that Ben designed these knives. Uh, he actually started out several years ago with reading books and just consuming all the information that he could about slip joints and slip joint design, slip joint construction. You know, there's so much that goes into making a knife like this. There's so many different geometries that have to work out just perfectly to build a knife of this level having this blade sit down in there just right having the the uh and i know there's a name for it but i can't remember what it's called but this area right here sit perfectly on the back spring so the cutting edge doesn't hit the back spring there's just there's so many minute details that go into this 
and it was perfectly pulled off and executed right here. So like I said, I just, I, I can't stress to you how pumped I am for Ben and excited for these knives. The quality is spectacular and it's just a cool story and it's a cool deal all the way around. Real quick here, I'll show off each colorway. So here is the natural micarta. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I love that they left it a little bit rough. So you've got some good texture there. These are going to patina. Absolutely beautiful. Here's the black micarta. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here is the fat carbon dark matter blue. And trying to show you just the quality of this material here. Like I said, all the ones that I've looked at, you know, a lot of times with marble carbon fiber, it's really easy to get voids and, and air pockets and stuff in the, the carbon fiber. Uh, this, I just haven't seen any at all. Uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really fantastic. And the stuff just kind of dances in the light. It's, it's really beautiful. Hopefully everybody, uh, you know, loves one of these. We already talked about the the, uh, the microfiber cloth. You get the sticker, you get the pog, you get the can. And then you also get a pocket uh, slip, just like this one here. So they're branded Jack Wolf knives. Uh, the quality of this is, is very nice. The knives fit in there. Uh, let's take a look here. We'll uh, just put this in there just so you guys can see what the package is gonna look like. So the knives fit in there perfectly. And they're, uh, you know, nice quality. I'm not sure exactly where Ben is getting these from. Uh, they smell fantastic, so that part's good. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny right after I opened this, the leather smells so good. And because the these were shipped in the can together, the uh, microfiber cloth smells like the leather, which to me is a fantastic thing. I know that's not really, you know, wasn't intentional, but this is the best smelling microfiber cloth ever. This is, you know, how you can uh, carry this knife in your pocket uh, and keep it protected. And like I said, the, the slips, they feel nice, they look nice, and that's awesome that he includes one in the can. Let's, uh, I'm gonna set these off to the side really quick. And then I'm gonna grab a scale. You know, we're just under a three inch blade. We'll weigh one of these. Okay. 2.48 ounces, just under two and a half ounces, just under three inches of blade. You can't uh, go wrong with that. And actually we'll weigh it in the slip just so you can get an idea of the whole package, 3.15 ounces. So that's pretty, pretty fantastic. In the slip, just barely over three ounces. And you know, this you can just drop in your pockets um, and the knife's gonna stay protected and it's, you know, looks great. This leather is gonna patina uh, extremely well also, as well as the knife, the micarta, it's gonna look spectacular over time. But we've got one more thing. Now, <clears throat> uh, you know, this is something that we've been working on for a little while here, and we wanted to do a few different things that would, you know, that were just a little bit different, I guess, than what other people were doing. We here at OCD for EDC, we ended up uh, contacting Joe over at Lancelot Leather and he ended up making us a clip slip to go along with the Jack Wolf. So if you wanna purchase a Jack Wolf branded clip slip, now this one was a prototype. We're gonna make a few little changes and uh, we should have those here within the next uh, couple of weeks, but what you'll get in the package, so you'll get a better than cardboard sticker from Joe over at Lancelot, and then one of his cards, uh, Lancelot Leather, and then he's got this card here, nice little thank you card, uh, fantastic. They come in this little bag here. 
And then here is the clip slip. This is the, the leather color that we chose. Uh, it's really fantastic. This is a vegetable oil tanned leather. Uh, it's a little bit thinner leather than what comes with this slip here. And of course it has a clip on it. Now this clip functions extremely well. You know, it's different than just a knife clip because you want this to retain in your pocket or at least that's the way that I would use it is that I would pull the knife out of here and leave this in the pocket. And so this clip functions extremely well. It's a nice classy looking clip. You know, it's gonna stick in your pocket like this with the, the clip showing. It's extremely deep carry. So basically, you know, you're not really gonna be able to see any of this other than just the face of the clip. But we've got Lancelot's uh, logo on the back here. This one here has black stitching. For the, per, the, the ones that we're gonna have for sale, they're gonna have stitching that match the knives. That little touch. And then you can see here, because these are handmade by Joe at Lancelot, you know, he does a great job. He puts one stitch around the outside just for that extra added layer of protection to keep this from coming apart. Now, I actually made the, the Jack Wolf logo and sent to him. We're gonna change it up. Originally, we put my logo and uh, uh, Ben's Jack Wolf logo. But the more I looked at this, I didn't really care for it. So I took my logo off. We're gonna move uh, Ben's logo to in the center of this. And the slip itself is going to shrink just a little bit. This first one was just a little bit too big. Just to show you, that's what the package is gonna look like. And we'll get a weight on this. I have not weighed it at all, actually just to see if it's any different than, you know, I'm sure the leather is a little thinner, but you got the addition of the clip and the rivet. So let's see. 3.26 ounces. So it adds basically a 10th of an ounce uh, to have this clip slip, which actually the production ones are gonna be slightly shorter. It actually might be uh, exactly the same weight, even though you have the clip and just because the leather itself is a little bit thinner. So these are gonna be available on ocdfreedc.com. To my knowledge, they're gonna be the only Jack Wolf branded clip slips out there. And like I said, for this first run, we have uh, stitching colors that match each one of the knives. So that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Joe does a fantastic job. And so there you go. This is what we got for you with the Jack Wolf knives. We've got the, the Lancelot leather clip slip. We've got the four colorways, natural micarta, green canvas micarta, black micarta, and the dark matter uh, fat carbon. You get the... the slip without a clip that comes with the knife, the microfiber cloth, the Jack Wolf sticker, the Jack Wolf pog, and the canister, as well as the box. And you'll also get OCD for EDC stickers, as well as one other cool thing that we don't have yet, but like I said, hopefully it'll be here by the 15th. If for some reason they are late, we will ship them out to everybody that purchased a Jack Wolf, because they are cool, and I just don't want to you know, I want to have it to be able to show you guys before I say what it is, but, but it's a cool little thing that you'll only get here at OCD for EDC. So anyway, guys, like I said, all the info will be up in the description. The, the uh, knives are up on our website currently. They will go live April 15th, 1 PM central time. Be ready because they're dropping and there's not that many of them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time. I'm out.